The Crisis Project is an interactive sim simulation environment designed to train um, emergency responders and commanders. So when there is a disaster or an emergency, uh, they'll be training and practicing in this virtual environment in order to deal with real-world uh, emergencies. And the crisis system is designed so that you can train between the fire service, the medical uh, ambulance service, the uh, uh, security agencies in the same environment. A scenario that we have developed as a consortium for the British Transport Police where a um, train crashes into a car at a railway crossing. Peter over there is driving around in, um, in his uh, response vehicle and he's going to talk to an individual. The person who's jumping over there is the, um, uh, the ambulance uh, person and that ambulance person is played by Jane. So Jane is seeing the police officer and the police officer, Peter, is seeing Jane on, in that particular view. So they will come together and they will discuss using the communication system. Uh, medical officer, could you please give me a status report on casualties? A car has crashed in front of a train and there appears to be what is a deceased man in the front seat, in the front driver's seat. The system is now being used by our partners, our end user partners, Isavia, the airport company that runs uh, airports in Iceland, as well as the ANA, the, the company that runs the airports uh, in uh, Portugal. The problem with critical incidents or with um, uh, unusual events is that they don't occur frequently enough for people to be uh, prepared to work between different services. But when you have a virtual environment, you can train on these things just about every day. Crisis allows us to train and better prepare the emergency services for such events and as such our citizens will be better protected.